Hello, bonjour, Alberta. Did you know that at least 238,000 people speak Francais in Alberta? And those numbers just keep on growing? Oui, oui, c'est vrai, it's true. And thanks to Shaw TV Community Access Programming, we get to reach out to everyone to let you know all about special people, places, events, and activities happening right here in this great province in both English and en français. That's right, mes amis. We begin the first part of our program in English, and then we repeat it en français. So stay with us. Restez à l'écoute. Welcome to Hello, Bonjour, Alberta. My name is Anne Boiteau. And I'm Marc Lalonde. And we're pleased to present another episode tonight of our special, unique show, bilingual show, which is uh, unique here in uh, Canada, and uh, which is uh, done in Calgary with the Shaw Community Access TV. Tonight, we have two very special guests with us, Gary Huntington. That's correct. And uh, Yesenia Ramos. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> and Gary uh, works for FNG Control Inc. That's right. And is also a very sh special wildlife artist. Thank Welcome. you. Thank you. <laughs> So and, and you forgot to mention, they're married. Yes, married, very married nice couple. couple. Yeah. That's right. So Gary, we'll start with you. Maybe tell us a little bit about yourself and where you're from. And if you're not from Calgary, what brought you to Calgary? Well, I'm from Montreal. And what brought me here is my wife. <laughs> Although ah, we met in Montreal yes. too. <laughs> and uh, so you, you were born and grew up in Montreal, educated I, all that. I was born to the Permines, uh, actually, and then uh, grew up in Gaspicos. Uh, eventually, down the years, uh, went to Montreal, uh, as a teenager, and uh, and then uh, yeah, we met in Montreal, my wife and I, through Paulo Noel, his son, which is Tino Noel, and uh, best friend of ours. And uh, yeah, and after our, our marriage, we decided to, to, to make the step towards Calgary because uh, her parents moved out here 15 years ago. Oh, and they said, okay. they said, guys, why don't you move out here with us? Well, I said, in due time, I believe. I said, I do love the West. I, I've been here before, I was 13. I saw the wildlife, it captivated me. I said, I love this place, it's beautiful, gorgeous. I said, um, one day, I believe. and. Uh, here we are six years later. Yeah. Ah. Mm -hmm. So you've been here for how six long? Years now. Six years. Yeah. Six years, yeah. Six ah, years now. and what about you, Yesenia? What uh, brought you to California? Mm -hmm. are, are you from Montreal also originally? Actually, uh, yeah. Well, actually, I uh, was born in El Salvador in uh, Central America. Uh, and then my parents moved to Quebec, uh, to Montreal, actually, uh, when I was two years old. Mm -hmm. And then I grew up in uh, Montreal, Laval. Um, so I did all my high school, uh, all my studies over there. And after that, we, um, yeah, we, we met uh, with Gary. My parents moved here in the West, in Calgary. And so I was, um, I was pretty much uh, missing them a lot. <laughs> so yeah. I asked my husband if, if we could move to the the west, uh, uh, the west of Canada in, in Calgary, and he told me that okay, in due time, just like he told you, um, that uh, we'll see if eventually, uh, if an opportunity opens, then we'll move out west, and uh, we'll see from so there. So, what was the tipping point then? You said in yeah. due time. In due time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. I use that expression too. That means. Yeah, Maybe. later. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. Yeah. Not now. That was exactly. 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 And that's I'm not ready yet. <laughs> and that's what so, happened. So what, what tipped you over to coming? Now, I, I'm interested in knowing why your parents moved here. Because uh, they would have been mostly French speaking, I would think. Coming yes. And, and, and Spanish, of course. Yeah. yeah. I um, think it was more uh, because of the job. Um, yeah, there was my, a boom at the time. Huh? Yeah, that time there was a boom in uh, for jobs. 
and I, my dad had uh, lost his job in, in Montreal, so that's so why he was free to, yeah. to move. That's right, okay. exactly. exactly. So yeah. again, what 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 was the point where you sat down and said, "Yeah, okay, now"? That's right. Uh, so mm -hmm. I was working at this uh, condominium in downtown Montreal, a beautiful place, and uh, work was kind of for me boring. It was routine day after day. I said, "I need a challenge. I need something different." And my wife says, uh, I miss my, my parents, my family, they're so far away, I don't understand why they went up there, although it's in, honey, work opportunities, I, we get all that. And I said, eventually, when, when work for me get tiresome or, or the door sh shut, cl uh, close, I said, we'll, we'll head out to, to the west. And uh, it's exactly what happened. Uh, mm -hmm. I, um, I, I, had, I had to keep my word because this is what I <laughs> promise, right? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be the man uh, all the way. And uh, we, uh, that was on August 4th. I, rem I remember the time and everything. And I said, honey, and she was not really waiting on this uh, turnaround because uh, she was at her work. And I decided to call her. I said, uh, now is the time. Are you ready to go out west? She said, okay. Uh, and, uh, and I said, because we're leaving. So in three weeks, we had a condo in Montreal. We had to kind of clean it up. I wanted to sell it and couldn't because the, 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 the mortgage fees, the, the penalty fees was too high. I said, well, then we'll have to rent. And uh, that's exactly what we did. Clean up the, the, the condo, a nice luxurious condo that we had and uh, put it up on the, on the market to, to rent. Mm -hmm. And somebody, uh, the, the day that we were leaving, showed up and says, hey, I'm interested in your condo. Can I see, visit and all this? Certainly. He says, oh, I like it. Uh, yeah, how much? Well, here it is. I'm taking it, he said. Oh, so we nice. rented that. Yeah. Quite it nice. was meant yeah. to be. It was exactly. meant, oh, it was yeah. perfect timing, yeah. Tell me a little bit about uh, your work as an artist. Yes. And uh, so when did you start doing that? I started after, like I mentioned a while ago, uh, as a kid with my father uh, and stepmother. I came out here in the west and saw the, the mountains, the animals, the wildlife, uh, the, the elks, uh, the, 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 all the wildlife actually. And uh, the eagles, I remember seeing those eagles. To me, as a child, it was like a plane, seeing a big plane uh, alive through the sky. Uh, and I said, wow, this is beautiful. And uh, went back with those memories to Montreal. I said, I need to, uh, I need to paint this. And uh, I was 14. In Montreal at the time, there was no, no workshop offering for the kids. And I was looking around, my, my mother-in-law was helping me to find a place and no use. And uh, finally we came across this uh, art teacher. He says, well, Madame, he said, uh, yes, indeed, because we showed what I could do. He says uh, he's talented, but there's no art class, no artwork for, for him. But he says he's very serious. He's, he wants to improve his, his talent, give him a try. So it, it turned out I stayed with him for 10 years. I uh, did start, you know, basic, and I worked my way to, I wanted to paint animals. That was my, the, the idea. And I, Which is we, not easy to do. Not easy to do. No. And there's, there's tricks to that, you know. Uh, certainly when you have an interest and a love for what you do, it, it comes naturally, right? It comes to you. So um, we, we've learned together uh, doing animals uh, and did, did uh, uh, how you say this, I have in French, these expositions. Oh yeah, showing. Showings once a year. And the last showing I did was at Pratt & Whitney in Montreal. I had painted a, a lion in a savanna with a sunset. I could have sold it, but I, I, all the paintings I would do, I would do it for, for myself, and I was, I mean, right in love with them. And I couldn't sell them, I couldn't get rid of them. <laughs> so I, I would refuse, refuse to, to sell them. And, uh, but that was my last experience in Montreal. And then life got in the way. Met my wife, work, and stuff like this. Children, yeah. Children moved out here. And then when I got here, my wife says, Gary, get back to it. You, you have too much talent to waste it. Uh, I said, oof, yeah. that's a lot. <laughs> so, of course, the cat. Yes. You didn't go out into the wild no. and the cat was there and you said, okay, don't move, here I go. <laughs> like, how do you do it? So, I, my, my niece, actually, she came home one day and saw the cat laying on the bed. No, this is not the bed, this is the grass. <laughs> I changed that a little bit. Uh, took a picture in that position, a close-up. Ah. 
and stayed in the phone like that. But when my wife said, get back into painting, and uh, because it requires, uh, you, you need to be uh, kind of settled still and clear mind minded, right? Yeah, yeah. For an artist, anyway, that's, that's important to be, uh, uh, how can I say, inspired. So, and my wife pushing me all the time, she said, get, get back to it, oh, honey, yes, I will, and one these days, but it wasn't good, or not, good enough for her, right? She said, no, you gotta do it here. She says, I picked her, why don't you do our cat? And the cat just happened, she, she kind of came, you know, those cats really go against oh, you, yeah. and, and uh, purring yeah. and all that. Yeah. I said, well, I guess, I guess I'll do that. <laughs> so I went, uh, yeah, I went ahead with Rosalie, her name is, and lovely cat. Beautiful temper, and uh, decided so to to draw it. Cat, she looks like that. And, yeah. and <laughs> decided to paint uh, my cat and get back into the grind. Right, that was the idea. Just to yeah. Really nice. So yeah. now you you have another job as well. On in addition to your art. Yes. And. And you were hired because you're an artist? Uh, yeah. Kind of, yes. Yeah. Funny enough, um, because my, my employer says, uh, and I was kind of thinking, because when I got here, I came out here uh, unexpectedly. I didn't, didn't expect anything, really. Uh, like I said, we left Montreal almost in a rush, turned around, didn't have time to look for, for, uh, for uh, a job. My wife had a job waiting for her already here. Arriving here. Arriving here. But when I got here, then I came across some family. And uh, uh, uncle of mine is working in fire protection. And he says, Gary, he says, I would be uh, interested, uh, you know, in hiring you. And I said, why, how come? Well, I so said, you're an abstract thinker, you're an artist, and you have this ability to, 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 um, to discern, if you will, uh, either side of the coin uh, without you know ju ju judging if you will and being too legalistic so I said I guess I guess you're right I'll give it a try and uh, well it's been six years now and <laughs> you still find me. it interesting yes the oh yeah certainly yeah challenges for, for, for sure certainly because I didn't I wasn't speaking English as I'm doing now although there's always improvement to, to bring right but uh, yeah still still there so when, when you moved, you didn't speak any English? Or did I, you know a bit did you? from... Uh, I did um, know, yeah. I was working a, a, in a travel agency, and it was mostly French. Mm -hmm. I had, it was very rare that I had English clients, maybe once in a blue moon, but it, it was pretty much French. So even when I came in here, just a uh, funny uh, thing to say, it's, uh, I was even scared to even just order my meal in English. <laughs> <laughs> just right. as, as tiny as, as that. And yeah. I was always asking my sister, could you order for me, please? Because I don't know, I don't feel... Uh, uh, confident. Yeah, confident. So yeah. I was like... And, and then she was like, oh, come on. You're kidding me. You're good at English. <laughs> well, you know, you study for English. For a third language, you're doing really oh, well. Thank oh, you. Oh, my <laughs> God, very impressive. Yes. yes. Yeah. And uh, same for you. So you no, learned you. English... Here? So I, I, I have an English name, Gary Huntington. Yeah. Uh, uh, strange enough, I'm, I've been uh, born and raised all in French. And I remember you, when I was a kid going to the hospital, they would call me in English and, and talk to me in English and was kind of lost. Like. <laughs> uh. So, um, but uh, I, I do, my, on my dad's side, they're English. My mom's just French. So you had heard a little bit of English before you came. Yes, yes. Yes. But I still had to bring it to catch it up. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. You're it was welcome. a very interesting story and beautiful art. Well, thank you. To all of you out there, please stay with us. On continue en français.